At Greenfield Bank, a customer named Mr. Adams has neglected to pay the rental fees for his safety deposit box for over six months. After sending multiple unpaid notices without response, the bank decides to proceed with opening the box. According to New York State law, what is the notary public's responsibility in this situation? Well, let's have a look at that New York State law, particularly Section 335 of the Banking Law, which is found in the Notary Public License Law booklet. And it states, if the rental fee of any safe deposit box is not paid, or after the termination of the lease for such box, and at least 30 days after giving proper notice to the lessee, the lessor bank may, in the presence of a notary public, open the safe deposit box, remove and inventory the contents. The notary public shall then file with the lessor a certificate under seal, which states the date of the opening of the safe deposit box, the name of the lessee, and a list of the contents. Within 10 days of the opening of the safe deposit box, a copy of this certificate must be mailed to the lessee at his last known postal address. So with this in mind, let's have a look at our four choices to determine the solution. Choice A states, verify Mr. Adams' identity and grant him extended access to the box. Well, this does not align with the law that we read from before, and therefore choice A is not the correct solution. Choice B states, be present during the box opening, inventory the contents, certify the inventory under seal, and ensure a copy is sent to Mr. Adam within 10 days. Well, this does align with the law that we read from before, but before we mark it as the correct solution, let's have a look at choices C and D just to be sure. Choice C states, appraise the value of the items in the box and oversee their sale to recover unpaid fees. This is incorrect. It's not the notary public's role to appraise the value. The notary public merely is there to inventory the contents of the box. As well, the notary public is not involved in the sale of any items either, and therefore choice C is incorrect. And finally, choice D states, witness the opening but refrain from documenting the contents to protect Mr. Adams' privacy. This is also incorrect. In fact, the notary public must inventory the items and therefore choice D is not the correct solution, which indeed leaves choice B. Be present during the box opening, inventory the contents, certify the inventory under seal, and ensure a copy is sent to Mr. Adams within 10 days as the correct solution.